in the future we will uh, we the client maybe the the expert i will do some research work with that one maybe integrate the demographical information for each of the uh, buildings or floors and unit level the plot level even though that means you have idea okay if you are searching or buffering something we can look for how many inhabitants living this area or this area or what type of inhabitants they are that based on their demographic information you can do a lot of the geoprocessing or statistical processing if you have those systems in in in, in your hand in the web in the, in the in the web level so you see that the that the basic idea is here the entity model or domain model or water mapping so you got the idea what i mean and and i will i will show you detail the when i start the 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 content information in the in my my projects so that means and then here here is the our our user registration models so you see the if every user maybe this building has a different even owners i mean the 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 owner is living other part of the city or other country or maybe in in in, in he's living foreign countries and then even though they need information to store where exactly the address the each register user who who is in the system you doesn't matter is the system user the application user or even though the 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 city inhabitants itself is a is a user he, he can log in the systems and he can look for her or his or their specific information where their register plots or buildings or floor is uh, unit is located even and then they have a over really transparent concept transparent idea okay governments already registered the process and even though from this registration process uh, they can uh, they can do the the taxations the municipal taxation or city taxation or, or did some 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 uh, renting process to build or uh, based on this application they can calculate the uh, the per kilometer per square meter rent process and, and it, it, it is then the world standard like in the foreign countries like western countries they have such application i just i have interest with them my city like my my country bangladesh and Dhaka city i try to build such a such research projects to, to integrate to give it to the research institute to to apply the my concept my ideas and even though you can edit some my your concept ideas and we can do better way how can we handle or how can we build such a such a complex or such enterprise level applications so you see the registrations and you register the process and it has a specific role a role means is a is a is a is an official role or non-official role non-official means that this user has a ownership for the buildings or the floors or units or even the plots ownership or many user has those those information that means this you can based on your user role you can categorize the which type of user is logged in the systems and then you can you can bypass or you can render the specific information that's the based on the role and then uh, based on the user types and then the address information that means one user has multiple user maybe has a permanent address and then he have a have residential address then they have the key information and then the address is geographically located that i mean maybe this street has the one owner is living and there's a permanent address and this is the official address that i mean this is the right side of the graphs just like hypothetical graph for this one just um, yeah, that's what i mean so let's have a start our uh, our 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 real developments how these the models the hibernate model did the mappings and all set of informations so <clears throat> well, let's have a start the, our geospatial part so i i did just models this this part is still not finished the unit part the registration part and let's have a little bit discuss about the registration part past so you see the the all necessary registration map that will be changed in future this is my initial models concept in the last year i did so like so if you see the user and user has a has all the entities is the already user registration models and then it has the user id and address id maybe third third ids and then the all necessary information it has first name middle name last name full name and username this is the the username for the you logging 
and then the password just like initial and then it has a national id for for every nationality has had own national card so that's a store here national id with and then birth id the birth certificate id and the passport number so based on these three information you can go to the other data center in the national data centers look for his 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 information or her information or their information is it this this person is really uh, right person is it all systematically register his national id and his is it, this is the right national id and even though their birth certificate to prove it and then you have the when the user created and when the last time user modified the information and then his email address phone number mobile number and his web address and the, the user pictures I store here and the, even the picture for the national ID and the picture for the user passport. And then that this is I said in the in the, my, my, my warrior models, my presentation. So it has a one too many. That means one user has a many roles and you can go the roles and then I mapped it like one too many mapped and joined by this one and then and so on and so forth. This is the user roles and then list of user roles. So that means at least one role has to be one species user doesn't matter is it official role or non-official role or, or non-official means the type of the 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 properties owner like plot owners buildings floor unit owners or even though the for the officials means the different different engineers or staffs or executive engineers or city planner or city uh, city engineers all things or administrative process that's why this is the two different data sets and then uh, oh, oh sorry that's we need to be uh, we need to be think about our database also how I did okay let's let's finish the faster model part and then I will show you the, the how the your database is created so then you have the user role information and the user has a role id and then reference id role name and types and user uh, remarks and this is the info most important role type so based, based on the role type and you can you can you can manipulate your 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 user with which which information is possible or is exposed or to render or visualize for this specific yeah, registry user logging user that's why i put it like this is the most important parameter or input input parameter for for controlling the on the user role and user types and then this is the, uh, when the user created and the last time when the user role or something like modified information for the previous the store information and then later this is the standard getter and sector methods nothing more special here so we go back our registration so even though this so that means it is clear clear that means any when you try to register one user and then user has a many roles it's possible one too many related that's why I in showing the presentation and even though this is the same as like the our standard getter and setter methods and then you can lump up you can you can use like like if you don't like to use the standard getter and setter you can annotate is the lumbok uh, this the really good dependency it's automatically created you can your all necessary getter and setter methods for the for the for the for you you water mappings or for you get a setter methods so here is the the address information that i said the uh, address information and uh, this is this part need to be clarified or need to be changed it so you see the address address the address id reference id address type means what type of address permanent address or temporary address or categories or like the official category or non-official category or that means this is you know, the special flag for the city and road road types house number postal code at uh, at country and the, the geometry really really special one geo type and geometry that's why i say this is the application is the is the is the combination of the geo and non-geo non-geo means this is the part of the information that's you i mean the non-geo part that this is non the relational part and geo part means where exactly your your address is located how how you 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 can filter it you abstract it be 